the feud between Ontario's progressive conservative government and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's Liberals escalated further on Monday, with both sides accusing the other of playing political games to block funding for major Toronto transit projects. At a press conference at Queen's Park, Ontario Infrastructure Minister Monty McNaughton and Transportation Minister Jeff Urich urged Ottawa to step up and commit conditional funding for the Ontario Line, the $0.9 billion transit project Premier Doug Ford unilaterally announced two months ago. The proposed 15-kilometre line through the heart of Toronto is one of four projects Ford has pitched as part of a $8.5 billion expansion of the GDA's rail network that would replace the city's existing plans. McNaughton said he was concerned Trudeau found it more politically expedient to engage in a war of words with the province than to actually fund new projects. Prime Minister Trudeau wants to pick a fight. Instead he should pick up a shovel, he said. McNaughton called on Trudeau to, quite frankly put his money where his mouth is and, approve these projects so the people of Ontario can benefit. Europe said Toronto transit users are tired of being stuck on overcrowded vehicles and the province was committed to working with the city to get the Ontario line built. Now it's time for our federal partner to commit their support. It's in all of Ontario's interest to get more cars off the road with better transit, that is what Ontarians deserve, he said. The minister's comments came four months before an anticipated federal election that will pit Trudeau's Liberals against the Ontario PC's federal cousins in the Conservative Party of Canada. The press conference also followed remarks Trudeau made on Friday in which he accused provincial politicians of going out of their way to block federal funding for infrastructure projects just to score political points. In an email to the Star Monday, Brooke Simpson, a spokesperson for Canada's Minister of Infrastructure and Communities François-Philippe Champagne, said the Ford government hasn't provided Ottawa the necessary information about the Ontario line and other projects for them to win federal approval. As ministers like Nodden and Uruk well know, real applications and business cases are needed in order to get federal approval and we hope they follow up soon. We are not in the business of writing blank checks with public funds when so many questions remain to be answered as to how the funds will be used, Simpson said. Simpson disputed the minister's assertion that the federal government had committed funding to transit projects in other parts of the country that were at similar levels of planning as the Ontario line. McNaughton in Europe specifically cited an extension of Vancouver's Millennium Line and NDP-governed British Columbia that has received federal support, but Simpson said in that case the province submitted complete business cases to support its funding proposal. This is exactly how the process should work under these bilateral agreements and we encourage the Ontario government to formally submit complete transit project applications as BC did. Simpson said, the Ontario line would replace previous city council approved plans for a relief line subway. Like the earlier version, the Ontario line is intended to take pressure off the TTCs. Overcrowded Line 1, but it would be roughly twice as long as the 7.4 kilometers first phase of the relief line. The Ford government says it could build the Ontario line by 2027, at least two years sooner than the projected opening of the relief line, by constructing it above ground in some sections and using smaller trains than traditional subways. Little design work has been done on the line to date however, and cost and schedule estimates have yet to be finalized. The Ford government says it wants the federal government to pay up to 40% of the cost of the project or about $0.4 billion, while also contributing to the three other projects in its plan, the Young North Subway Extension, Three Stop Scarborough Subway Extension, and Eglinton West LRT. The provincial request exceeds the $0.9 billion Ottawa pledge last year to new Toronto transit lines. Despite the provincial minister's comments Monday, correspondence obtained by the Star suggests that behind the scenes the federal government has signaled it would be open to providing funding for Ontario transit projects before detailed plans are finalized.
An April 30, 2019 letter from the Federal Deputy Minister of Infrastructure to her provincial counterpart stated that, in the event that approval of federal funding is required before a final business case can be developed, the Government of Canada could provide money for projects through a stage gate process. Under this process, Ottawa would help pay to advance a provincial project's design, and make funding to build new lines contingent on submission of a full business case. In the letter the federal government posed more than two dozen questions to the province about the readiness of the Ford government's proposed transit projects, and requested responses to allow Infrastructure Canada officials to determine an approximate timeline for approval. The questions, which resemble a list of 61 queries the City of Toronto put to the province in April about Ford's transit plans, seek basic information such as how long it will take to finalize full or preliminary business cases for projects, how the province's proposed projects meet policy objectives, and how Queen's Park calculated its cost of the new lines. Simpson said Monday the federal government has yet to receive a response to the letter. A spokesperson for McNaughton didn't immediately respond to questions about the letter. When the Premier unveiled his new GTA transit map in April, he pledged the Ontario government would shoulder the full cost of the $8.5 billion plan if no other levels O government came forward. Europe said Monday, that hasn't changed, but argued there's no reason Liberal MPs shouldn't support the Ontario line. Their own constituents are going to benefit from this investment, he said.